And here are the picks and bans for this matchup that is coming up here in just a moment. It looks like Ruins, Veil, vale, and then Molten Falls to round us off. Looking at the champion picks, what do you guys think? Interesting picks to be sure, especially the Decider map. We get to see Chain play the Athena, oh, yeah. a champion that he knows and loves very well. And he's going up against the Hang on Slash. And we know how much the Hang loves that crouch sliding, moving around the map oh so quickly. So that is going to be an extremely explosive game. But first of all, though, Ruins of Sarnet, we're getting to see the Galena up against the Strog. Pretty standard picks. I would say nothing out of the ordinary there. The Hang getting to use his baby, the Strog. And then Veil of Nav, we're getting to see the key again, who also works really well on that map. Yep, the Hang is actually very good on the first two maps, so it's a little bit of a worry, but I wouldn't worry too much in terms of Chain, because he's very good in terms of how he's going to progress both of those maps anyway. But it's going to be difficult. Chain has been practicing a lot against Cooler and Base, the kind of players who are quite defensive but assertive in terms of map control and trying to time those items and making sure they can keep them at bay always and ever when they actually get the chance. But the problem is that this is the hang. He has lost to him 3-0. He doesn't want a repeat performance, but that was very, very early on in Stage 4. So he wants to try and change that and make it the opposite way around if possible. And uh, I mean, it's it's important to point out that winning here kind of gives you a mini vacation leading into t t tomorrow, right? We, we've we seen some of the brutal lower brackets that are set forth before some of these players. Uh, so this, you know, very important matchup uh, for both these players, obviously, as the winner will advance on to tomorrow. But I, I just feel like at this point, you do not want to even risk your life in the lower bracket. Flea, I, I mean, based off of what we see, would you Agree. Oh yeah, 100% agree. You want to get that safe spot into tomorrow's Grand Finals right off the bat. You do not want to risk dropping down and going up some of the other monsters in the NA bracket that are waiting down below for you there. So both of these players are very dedicated. I also do think that Chain definitely has a chance of taking this. Back in the Stage 2 Finals, similar situation, and it was Chain knocking the Hang out of the tournament entirely. Now we've been talking a lot about Rafa and the Hang. They are the undisputed kings of the the NA region, but I think a lot of people have come to accept that Chain is kind of the third one, and maybe this is the start of him actually overtaking the Hang and dethroning one of the Liquid Boys. Yeah, that would be, you know, that would be exciting to see. I mean, just even someone who's been uh, watching NA Quake for a while, you know, like, not to say that Rafa and the Hang are not exciting, but uh, the last few years have been a storyline of new blood, old blood, uh, OGs and uh, like the mixture of, of all these different players. So seeing the different styles and talent clash is is exciting nonetheless. So it sounds like we are about ready to jump into it. So bringing in the action of this game is ZSX and 40 Lions. And we are back with another game from Chain, who I'm actually feeling fairly confident about in chances. Not sure about you, 40. What's your take on this matchup? Well, that's great to hear, Forty. As you, how know. dare you? First of all, <laughs> so I think he's gonna ride man. that momentum. I was eating my cheesecake. He's gonna ride that momentum from the 2-0 earlier, and he's gonna have to deal with this beast entirely differently. The Hang is not gonna make the mistakes that Nosfa did, but I think Shane, as uh, Flea mentioned earlier, he's done it before. He could do it again. I am 100% putting in my contract to have a different partner for the next event as my back is really hurting so far, but I completely agree. I'm actually feeling confident for Jane, as I said in the start. Um, the Hang will always, always put up a fight against any opponent. He is just so mechanic, um, sorry, standard in his playstyle, methodical with his timing. Do it. Nor can I. So, uh, <laughs> um, never count him out. Absolutely. We'll see if uh, the D the accountant can audit Chain here, or if the comeback kid is again going to ride to that confidence boost from the 2-0 earlier straight into this one. Starting off real slow a minute in, Chain lurking from above, and Dehang sweeping in now. Rockets raining in. Not a lot of damage, though. Totem will be up shortly. Chain looking for a rail here, trying to attack, aggress on this heavy as Dehang slides past that first rail. Yeah, and we'll, go we'll see a lot of this of Chain on the back foot. Quite a passive playstyle in general, but going up against the struggle picker of Dahang, a champion Dahang is so adept at imposing himself on. And when he has control of those items, we'll definitely see the speed come out. So Chain's positional play needs to be on point. So far it has been a minute and a half in, but he is losing out on both major items as Dahang has got a large split now between the two. 
And that's why we're seeing Chain play up in this choke point. Good audio cues up here. Strong position to hold. If the hang wants to push through there, he'll always take a lot of damage. But the problem with this type of play start is you're under such pressure to consistently hit your shots. And we saw some from Wenger that if you do that, it's successful. But as soon as you miss one, there's such great opportunities for your opponents to brush you in. Messing with that rail, but he did, did have the overstack temporarily at least. A hand taking care of that early. That's going to be huge as well, making sure that he clears out those totems as soon as he sees them. Limiting that overstack for Chain as much as he can. More rocket damage coming in. There's the peeker dealt with nicely there from Chain. Hang trying to make a play on this Mega. He's going to eat a lot of rocket damage. It could be costly here. Is the push from Chain? Is it going to be enough with the LG? Oh. No, Dehang denies him 3 HP. What a shot. What a shot indeed. It looked almost certain Dehang was going to go down. As we said, holding that choke point strong and Chain was heading his shots, but Dehang had too much to work with, having picked up multiple major rises back to back. But off the back of that engagement, Chain is now on the map. He's got himself a heavy. He's got himself some items, but no rocket just yet, which is why he cannot push onto this Mega. Stopwatch. Peeker back for Dehang. And at the very least, it's a great scouting tool. Even if he doesn't get damage, I think a chain is going to be ready for it. Just missing out on some damage. There is Dehang as he wants to make a play for this. He's going to eat a rail. And chain's just going to take that rail and maybe run with it here, giving up the heavy. Stopwatch. Now trying to get some damage. That's a great rocket there from Dehang. Follow up not as good still. Damaging chain as he drops down below and again. Trying to figure out the best way to attack this heavy here. Chain just setting up for another rail and conceding yet again. He's he's not gonna push in, it looks like. He's completely happy just taking one rail and bouncing, just slowly chipping away at Dehang's health. Yeah, Dehang is taking both major items again, no one has slightly slowed the tempo of the game, adjusting to how Chain has been positioned and playing it so far. We can see that Chain is consistently trying to take up these ultra defensive positions and shooting and backing off. So there is absolutely no sign of committal. He's playing around the hang and hoping the hang will overcommit, but the veteran that is the hang isn't falling for that just yet. Ooh, a little jump shot there from the hang won't land, but Chain picks him out of the sky. But again, if he keeps cycling these items, as you mentioned, it doesn't really matter. The Mega does go Chain's way, and that's a good start. I'd love to get in on this Heavy, but Dehang is right there to try and deny, or at least scare him off with some rockets here. And a solitary rail from Chain has caused Dehang to rethink his strategy. Complete reversal of fortunes as Chain now has locked down the map. Dehang has spent his time cleaning the map, though, you know. He's not the accountant, he's the cleaner, as all the titans have been woke, but that's not the best peeker, is he? Cool, I thought he was just on the ledge, maybe I misinterpreted that. Chain, though, does get away relatively scot free once again, taking away the Mega. He knows the timing of the heavy, so Dehang will not be sticking around here as he's relatively weak. He needs to be careful here. He's trying to slide his way across to this 50. Chain running the map right now, trying to hunt. Find some damage for Dehang, possibly tying it up at one. There he is, guns blazing. LG on LG is Dehang. What a beat on him. So much damage. Can't make the rocket jump up, though. Unfortunately, the rocket does land on Chain, but the Mega goes his way, and Dehang is in a bad way right now. He is, but he's got the speed advantage. The pick is back up now for that additional bit of burst. That's a crucial rail that Chain did miss. That would have given an amazing opportunity to push in. And it's just the way these two players like to play. Chain all about the basics, playing the standard template of duel, picking up the items, trying to forge openings. He's got plenty of time to work with, so keeping a lockdown is key. And the hangar's got that entrance way on lockdown and Chain won't be committing. A good pickup from the hang. Still 1-0, six minutes in. Hang doing a good job of not giving any frag potential up to chain here as the items are traded and the hang is going to be more than happy to just play this style and just eat time as much as he can there's a great rail through the tally here looking for another one from the tcon rocket spam from chain good prediction and he's dropped up close there's the lg a little bit of nail damage and a rocket as well he's going to push in after this the lg the mega's taken from chain the hang did a fantastic damage there
And he had the light to fall back on on the heavy, but Chain's already down there and position for the heavy, so to hang unexpectedly misses out on that major item. Stacks aren't too different because of the amount of damage that was done in the prior engagement, but Chain needs to catch his opponent. And that's been one of the challenges so far, is Dahang has been, well, they've both been so well positioned when on the defense. So Dahang using that speed to work the map, get away from Chain. And just look at the level of damage coming out. How on earth did he get that frag from 100 to nothing with just the peeker in the air? Chain's going to be a little bit gutted. That was beautiful because Chain had the rockets out, so the Peeker came out. He didn't switch to rail in time. Even when he did, he missed it, and then the Peeker just decimates him. That's 2-0, and that has got to be heartbreaking for Chain. It also gave Dehang the Mega, and it's it's going to be a comeback necessary again from the comeback kid. 7.30 here. Dehang is weak out in the courtyard. Can Chain capitalize? He's going to have to. Is, yeah, time is running out for that comeback to happen. Two and a half minutes remain. Two frags in it. So obviously... A solitary frag will open up a big opportunity to get the refrag and to hang once again with a Pika has done so much damage. Cheeky rocket on the exit, that'll be enough for now. Dang is playing this so well on the defense and Chain getting caught out time and time again. Headshot to finish the Canadian off. The hang is looking pretty fine. Gorgeous play, that peeker, the timing on it so good. If you have rockets out, it's infinitely harder to hit. Another frag, and certainly that's going to be it. Two minutes left for maybe another one here. Great switch to rail. Chain extremely weak. Doesn't really have a choice. As time is ticking away, he's got to force the issue. The hang sitting pretty here, and that peeker's got so much mileage. It really has. Chain hasn't looked as clinical in, in really any aspect as his players we saw earlier today. He feels that he needs to, to trade in those snow goggles for some gunners. He needs to rethink of how he's approaching. Every one of these peekers has done so much damage. Chain has just not looked on it so far. A bit rattled, I think, by the way, Dehang is playing. Normally he's so aggressive, but Dehang has just said, hey, I'll let you take the items. I'll play around my speed advantage and just outposition you. And at the moment, Chain hasn't got an answer, and I don't think there's a way back now. Yeah, I think this map is done and dusted. Maybe those uh, gunners have done to hang well here. 4-0, maybe five years. Chain trying to get something. Totem goes down, but again, eats another rail, and Dehang will take his leave. Doesn't have to force anything for the last 50 seconds. Looks like he's putting a map on the board in the series. And that was really well played from Dehang. Why to be impressed? Not the flashiest play, but I mean, he's an accountant, so what are you going to do about it, right? I mean, how very accurate. How do you think he feels about that name? You got you got these like legends. You got the Terminator. You got the God Slayer, and then you've got I'm the accountant. I mean, I think he's a fan. He probably went roof when he heard it, but whatever. <laughs> well, I would slap zero four if he gave me a nickname like the accountant. <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting on the 0-4 ZSX uh, wrestling match at the next QuakeCon, actually. But I digress, as this one's going to be in the books. 4-0-4 to hang off to a Zero great four? start in the series. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, you're so fired, dude. <sighs> I try. I try. You know, I don't go for the low-hanging fruit, okay? I'm sorry. I just I can't work like this. Production, please. Somebody bail me out here. Something a good start to the day for 40 Lions. Um, <laughs> you <need> to, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude, but you know, got to rub you in it. But it was a good day for Dehang so far. As I actually, we haven't seen much of Dehang, and that was a good start. Chain looked very solid this morning, but that same level of consistency wasn't in this set. And obviously, Nosfer didn't put up the biggest of fights earlier today, um, and we saw a massive adjustment in the way in which. Dehang was approaching the game. He played defensive. He played around the speed, and Chain didn't have an answer to that. So it was a clear strategical choice from Dehang, and it worked out perfectly. Yeah, that initial clutch rail to get that opening frag with three HP left was huge. And then after that, you saw the peeker usage again. Chain getting caught out with rockets twice, and the peeker dealing so much damage. Uh, very, very well done from Dehang there on that first map. Those peekers were so OP, and the first, the first one. I don't even know how that happened. I think he said, "Cool." with his pants down with the rockets out, but nevertheless, to do like, what was it, nearly 200 damage, like chipping away like a little woodpecker with those propellers. They didn't do a lot of damage. Um, and then just to crash land for the uh, the final kill, that was pretty impressive. 
Yeah, and it's so frustrating too because you're stuck in this situation where I know he's a sitting duck as ketchup yeah. pilot. I want to get in there, I want to get rockets and LG, but you're taking all of this damage and then the kamikaze comes in and you're just stuck. So it's just a situation of you have to be aware, you have to take care of the peeker first, no matter how much you want to just go for your enemy and try and get that big chip damage. I'm sure I'm sure Chain saw that in slow motion. It's like that sketch of being killed with a with a spoon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just standing exactly. there waiting to die. Um, nevertheless, he has to reset himself. As I, as I mentioned earlier, I did speak to Chain before the event, and he was very confident in his, well, quietly confident in his ability to take his performances a step further. He's come on so much since Poland when he was very much the underdog and going into a lot of series now, uh, in the North American region at least, as the favorite. We are just having a slight delay as uh, I believe Chain is just having a quick restart of his game. Um, I think he Quite literally re resetting, yeah. Like you said, he's yeah. taking your advice, so. Uh, I mean, he's knocked out the Legends before. I think he's beaten Cooler before uh, at one of the stage, I think stage two, was it? Uh, he's beaten to Hang before. Uh, it's just a, a matter of mental reset going into Veil for sure. Yeah, he's gonna go up a challenge though, as he is going up against Keel, which is very strong on Vale. Um, probably one of my favorite picks in all honesty. And I think Rafa was the innovator uh, of utilizing Keel in this sort of fashion. And, and the Hang has taken it as well and upholds that mantle of how powerful that can be. I said it's a, it's a good choice, but I just think the overbearing stack, the corridors of Vale, you can, you can hold very safe positioning up on the high ground. It's difficult to chip away at his stack. I think Chain's got his work cut out on this map, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, the traps in the Thunderdome, especially that rocket area, could be absolutely brutal with Keel. But the turret can get a lot of mileage, too, depending on where you put it, right outside the True. Mega Teleporter. Uh, we'll see. I think if Chain can get off to a decent start, it might be easier for him, of course. But again, the, the massive stack on Keel, just the refrag capability, is going to be huge for Dehang. Exactly. And when he plays so strongly around the timings, he, he will always be in with a good shout. And you say just that refrag capability with the heavy champions is extremely scary. We, we discussed it at length yesterday that you need to make sure your your kills are clean. And then when you if you have a messy frag on your opponent, you have to play ultra defensive. So I think the pressure is much more on chain than the hang. He's definitely got it in him in his terms of play style, in his defensive way that it will be close. But I'm going to side with a 2-0 for the hang based on the last game. It's hard to argue with that, but we'll see what Chain can do as we are live on map number two of this series of Veil. Chain versus Dehang. Chain's dropping out into that rail right now. So items were traded. Wants a rocket real bad, but this is where it's really, really dangerous. He can't go in yet. He has to make sure it's clear. He knows Dehang is right on the other side of that door. Dehang doing a good job of defending the rockets as long as he can. Doesn't want to give anything up easy. Not at all, and he can't afford to give away anything. So, fighting for his life over in his heavy, it has to drop down. He's too weak to contest. He knows the big man's already there. And Dehang, realizing that, doubles back onto the Mega, but great rails from Chain to nullify that. And he gets the heavy pickup as well. So, the counter makes the mistake in that calculation and comes back to bite him. Yeah, really well done from Chain there. Good movement, great rails, and that's exactly what he needs to do this entire game if he wants to, to get this map on the board and send us to three. Barreling down from under him. Gray Rail again looking for another one. Hits it, but needs to be careful. Those pineapples could be deadly. We know how important the rail is for Chain on a normal day. It's going to be extra important for him to hit those shots against Keel. As we said, you need to nullify that stack as much as you can. And even though he's hit so many rails in a row now, you can still see how beefy the hang remains. And he knows he's up here on the high ground. They both encounter each other through the doorway. Exchanging damage, the hand comes off worse. He's a bit early for the heavy in, in doing so. Jumps up with the grenade, pops him off. The chain. Bit worse for wear for now. Rocket jump risky, but it pays off as chain takes both items. And again, the pineapples are deadly if, if they hit you, but even if they don't, they can bounce you around. You have to be cognizant of where the pineapples are landing. Here's an LG, and that's going to be the first frag for chain. This is a great start for the Canadian. And this is the exact pacing he needs. He needs to keep that high ground advantage. He needs to make sure he's punishing the hang for these pickups. Great rail there from Chain. Sure. He does give up the mega. 
but he's going to be satisfied with just getting rail damage again. Bit useless since the mega pickup was afterwards. Just keeping that distance, as you said, just trying to chip away from Keel and then go in for the kill as he has to do since the stack advantage is just so big if Keel gets items. And you can see him trying to create as much distance as he can between him and where he feels Keel is, using that turret as a bit of a scouting tool. I think he knows exactly where the hang is, but obviously the hang is perfectly on time for the heavy, but not doing anywhere near enough damage just yet. A good exit rail, though, that will prevent Chain from doing any true committal. A couple of peak rails. Chain will continue to retreat. There is, there is absolutely zero point in trying to take any close range engagement against Kiel unless you know you've done a significant amount of damage. Ooh, up close and personal, there's two good rockets. Goes down the turret for a little bit of insurance. Great jump over rail here. He needs to be careful, and there it is. The Knight at the Roxbury got in, getting caught in the middle is Dehang. 2-0 for Chain. The Heavy is up. Needs to be careful here. Wants to try and do a little bit more damage. Spotted out Dehang off the spawn. And so far, Chain has got the remedy to Dehang's poison. It looks like he has a perfect strategy and understanding of how to play Keel on this map. It can all turn so quickly with a bad engagement. This might work out well as he knocks the hang off of that Mega to the low ground. Really good job using the turret and forcing yeah. the hang away from the Mega. So far, the audit from the hang is coming up clean on Chain's end. He's like, here are my taxes. I'm good, bro. And Chain also doubling back to make sure he knows where his opponent is. Slight misstep there, but it actually works out okay as the hang misses his rail because of it. The hang is in a bit of trouble here. That grenade is big and the rail switch maybe not the best from Chain. Although he has both items on lockdown. And this is something we saw from Chain earlier. When he hits his groove, he uses the major items very effectively. He doesn't just rotate them on cooldown. He actually leaves them up, needs to fall back on them and overextends to try and catch his opponent out. Something that he's doing better than a lot of other players in the scene just now. Looks like the hang is trying to make a move on this heavy, but he's out of position. He's out of time. He might be out of health as well if Chain hits his shots, which he does. Great switch to shotgun there, and Chain is playing this beautifully here. Five minutes in, 3-0. The pacing that he wants, the score line that he wants. I don't know if anyone expected this style of play. The Hang trying to force the issue, but Chain has got him on a leash at the minute as the Hang is just running around and being kited essentially by Chain. He's made a move on the Heavy, but it's not the right move. He was pretty low anyway, realized he would have taken more time to restack than it was worth, so decided to make a committal, try and do some damage. He's worked his way onto the Mega, but he's a bit early, so Chain can push him to do some damage. Not the end of the world, he didn't hit anything. Because Great. that can happen. There's good LG to push him off the heavy. He misses with the rail. Now Chain needs to be careful here. A little bit of rocket damage, but not a ton. Chain's still hanging in there. Doesn't want to give up this heavy for free. Good LG from Dehang from below. There comes Timmy the turret. The grenades come out. The rockets come out as well. And Dehang nice. needs to be careful. And Chain does it again. A 5-0. This is just so clean. Even when it's risky, Chain is just coming up big. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can see that Chain's got oh such a... What? <laughs> Pineapple 6 HP. Bails out to hang and could that be the turning point? Chain should have had that frag. I don't think it will be. It's a frag on the board, but just look how low he is. It takes such a long time to get your stack back because even getting to starting stack, you're still very vulnerable. Tang doesn't even have a rocket, so he's taken all the time in the world. He's left both major items up. Chain won't be pushing in for the Mega, so that's a slight bonus for the hang. But Chain's already back on the map in terms of weaponry and stack. So it's a start for the hang. That's a great rail. A slight glimmer of hope here. And you can just feel how proficient Chain is on this particular map and his understanding of the best angles to take and positions to take just like that to do damage, unreturned damage. That's always the key in Jewel is how can we do unreturned damage as a player? But he's in a bit of trouble here as the Hang has found him through the teleporter and missing those rails the pressure is much more on chain now. The hang for the first time in this map has a solid stack and weapon advantage though. Running into chain, it's a bit reckless from the hang as he's now railable and needs to retreat. 
perhaps forcing issue wow. more than he needed to. QHP has to tiptoe around that acid. You don't want a bad acid trip. Five to two as the Hank's still extremely weak. Needs to be careful. A little bit of splash damage. The grenade and rocket combo won't be enough. Chain is going to try and force this fight here. He wants it. The LGs are going to be enough, and Chain actually goes down right before the mega spawns. And now this is a completely different game. Rail off the spawn. Can he convert? He does. This is turned very quickly. Just be careful, there's no need to, to push in there. No more rails for the hang either. Ooh, missed rail from chain and five to four, just under two minutes left. The team liquid player looking very solid right now. As chain might be gassed. Who knows? Timmy the turret is back up. Minute 40 left to hang hunting. He smells him, gets a little bit of LG tickle, swaps to rockets. Finally, re ups on his rail, and that's gonna help. Oh! Ensley in the shotgun into pineapple. Is it gonna be enough? Is that a four damage shotgun? How? It's just never enough with you. It's too much, it's too little. You just, it's just there's always complaints. I'm hard to please, 40. <laughs> I'm learning that here. <laughs> One minute, 10. Dehang smelled blood, but he knows this isn't optimal, so he's gonna opt to grab the 50 and the Mega. Still has time. It's gonna be close. Chain has to play hyper defensive now, trying to run oh. victory, but the oh. rocket in. Oh my god. What a turnaround in the space of a couple of minutes. Dehang has gone from looking lifeless to life of the party here, as he now has both major items. The original rotation of Chain has come back to bite him as Dehang has got it on lockdown. Chain needs to make a move. He shouldn't be in the vicinity. The turret is there. The turret is, is actually doing more damage than anyone else at this point. Hank and all those pineapples. Hank stack is still huge. Chain needs to be extremely careful with 30 seconds left. Oh, I get caught out here, but to hang, he knows better. He wants to position for this heavy. Possibly playing for the sudden death with a fat stack like a rapper here is to hang, waiting from above. This is with his rail, but again, you can't even tell with a stack like that. No, you can't. And every single one of those rails is crucial. More than likely, they're going to be going to an overtime unless the hang can force the issue here. He sees the Mega up, hits a nice ro rocket there, knocks Chain up, but the final rail wasn't enough. But Chain does it! Oh, what? I don't know how he just did that, and I'm sure that Dehang is rolling his eyes so hard that he might not be able to see straight after what just happened. Shane, the comeback kid, three seconds into sudden death, makes it happen yet again. He does, and look at the damage difference. Chain was 2,000 damage from rail. That's insane. He had nearly as much damage from rail as Dehang had damage, and that is... I really, what the challenge when you're going up against such a beefcake like Kiel, the item split was virtually identical, but Chain had to continually hit these shots, um, which he did for the most part. There was that brief interim period, the transition where Chain kind of lost focus ever so slightly and Dehang had a huge into the game, but that final turnaround was just incredible. And again, if the turret doesn't even get a lot of damage, it's not that big of a deal. It's a distraction at the very least. And we saw it multiple times where Dehang was just focus firing the turret and then just getting hit from Chain. And that was enough near the end. That was well, incredible. Think think of how much damage that turret did at the end, like 30 seconds before Dehang yeah. died. If he had cleaned up that turret, he's, yeah, he probably would have had the stack to survive that engagement. I'm, all credit to Chain, like his ability on this map to find unique rail angles and consistently hit them. Yes, Kiel is massive, but you still got to hit those shots. If he had missed one or two more, there's a good chance to hang would have had more of an opening to finish up the map. So you have to credit Chain. He's come back into it. He was under a lot of pressure. Um, to hang looked fairly lost for the first four or five minutes of that map. And we do move on to the side now. I know Flea is happy. He wants to see that Athena from Chain, and that's exactly what we're going to get. Chain on the Athena to hang on the slash on Molten Falls to the side of the winner of this series. Who is going to take a stroll in the lower bracket? Hard to say now. They both look very convincing in their own ways. Firstly, it was Dehang playing the runaway game using the speed of the, of the stroke, and now it was Chain locked down Vale against the heavy, beefy champion in Kiel. But we are moving into a very different territory, as you say, with the Athena versus the Slash.
Hyperspeed, hypermobility, looking forward to how Chain starts this one off. Had a bit of a slow start, although he was in control, and then we saw Dehang rocket back into the lead, and then again, just at the last second in sudden death, Chain somehow pulls it out. So I, I wonder who can get the solid start and kind of put on the pressure and maintain control, or if we're going to have kind of a back and forth. I think it'll be quite back and forth. Um, Athena has so much utility. It's uh, a relatively good map for her because she can use the verticality of particularly the major item pickups to get away from the slash if she's coming pressuring in. But as per usual, the, the speed of the slash, particularly in some of the hands of like the hang, is incredibly scary. So Chain, once again, picks a champion he needs to maintain a strong positional game with because if he's caught out, slash will just run rings around her. A great drop rail from the hang there. Dang with the rope up denied by the rail to hang wants to drop and then he does with the shotgun as the chain rail was not enough to deny to hang's entry into the first frag here. There's a 50 shard again, a little bit more damage from the shotgun. From the hang. As he makes his way back towards the heavy, almost gets just a glimmer of a rail. That would have been just a, a fantastic foot shot right there. Above. Nice push by Chain, punishing the hang for being slightly too early for the heavy. He also gets out without taking a rail as the hang does miss a sitter. That will hurt as he shouldn't be pushing onto this mega now. He needs to let Chain get it for free. Yeah, once again, Chain will need to be playing around that rail against Slash. Have to create these openings to stop her momentum, stop her putting pressure on. But Chain is obviously very adept at that type of playstyle now. Also set up for this Mega to hang is wary, doesn't hear his opponent. This is the rail, but gets out without taking too much damage. So good play all around so far. He's spamming nails behind him. He heard the rope and. He's ready for any kind of chase now as Dehang trying to slow things down. He hears a chain coming up through the telly. Decent rocket damage through. Actually doubles back and gets a great rocket to rail combo. Leaving chain low, he does have the heavy to work with. And now the battle for the rail room emerges here as chain just flying in. Both players extremely weak. Rail from chain, or excuse me, from Dehang will miss chain. Surviving by the skin of his teeth. Dehang very, very weak right now as chain grabs the mega. Chain fortunate to get out alive there as the hang had a couple of opportunities to kill his opponent, but instead Chain does get position on the items and splats slash in the doorway. Had it one and again the mobility. I don't think the hang expected him there at all. And a good job of also maintaining these vials so you can keep maximum hooks up, get around the map. Also great for chasing, closing the gap, and just all the speed from a teammate you get hooking in front of you on the ground. Zero to 60 in about two seconds. Pretty fast. Gotta go fast. But a rocket damage is gonna push this. There's the rope to get him back down. The snail trail comes out from the hang for a little bit of defense. That's actually a good rocket here. LG chase won't be enough. A little bit of rocket damage from above again, and and kind of weasels, weasels his way into that heavy. It does have to give up on the Mega now. That's that pressure from Dehang whilst not doing a lot of damage. Bought him enough time to fall back onto the Mega. So we are trading items once again, which is which is key. And when, when that kind of happens against you know, Light Champion Mirror matchup, it always comes down to the first initial damage. If it's, if it's initial rail, then Whoever takes that needs to go on the defense. This is why we see such standoffish. The Hang wants to put pressure on, though. He senses blood. Great grapple to try and double back, but the Hang doesn't fall for it. He actually boops into his opponent to keep him on the platform and now knows he got a big window opportunity to put pressure on Chain. No rocket for Chain. No real defense just yet. No items. That's why the Hang is monitoring this rocket launcher. You could almost tell on reaction when he saw that hook go towards him. He was just like, okay, shotgun, here we go to chunk away from the rockets from above. No, no really landing. He somehow steals it. Chain, part of a thievery corporation wow. here as the accountant goes down. That clutch grapple to get under the slash. And as you say, steal away the item. One in that 
intense combat situation. Okay! Oh no! <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what that play was. I'm honest. You wanted to speed around the corner, but that's why you always wear a helmet when you go out skating, because Shane just sent him flying off the map, takes the lead at three. Yeah. Halfway through this one. If the helmet stops you from falling into the void, then I'll be very impressed. It can't hurt. Might as well. Safety first, 40. Always. Always. I'm always about the safety. We'll see if Chain can keep the safety of his lead here. I don't think this is going to end 3-2, to two, but Heavy will go his way. As Chain would love to get a couple more frags to buffer this victory here. Again, this is the third map. Who will advance? Who will get knocked into lowers? Chain's got the items on lockdown at the moment in a remarkable position. You can see how careful he's playing it. Every time he picks up an item, he rushes towards another choke point. That's where he wants to be taking any engagements. If the Hang wants to force the issue, he's going to be running into rockets. That's exactly what Chain wants to do. And once again, the Hang falls into the honey trap that Chain is positioned. And he's on the ropes now. The Hang is Chain is forcing the issue. He's caught him in the air and he nearly got ringed out. But instead, Chain picks up another frag. Three frag advantage, four minutes to go. Can't take his foot off the gas. Then is Dehang flying towards the heavens up that jump pad. Big lead now for Chain. And yeah, I think you're absolutely right. He's going to put the pedal to the metal here. He doesn't want to give up anything. No reason to, really. Dehang tries to rain down rockets. He's not hitting anything somehow. Chain going to go up the jump pad. Fearless right now with a stack that big. Dehang does a good job of getting him down to towards a normal stack here, trying to fight for this mega. Does it away and Chain plays the safer game to try and hit a rail angle. Fortunately not doing it, so we'll need to go passive as he realizes this is the chance for the hang will want to take to go on the aggressive. Great positioning by Chain and good grapples to get across the map. Also won himself position on the heavy. Can he get it in time? Yes, he can. The hang's obviously above. It's a rocket to the face. Chain playing to get out. Wants to hit a rail, which he nearly does. That angle is so, so good. Follow-up rail for Chain. He's going to drop down. Almost hits another one here as Dehang gets the Mega. But time is ticking still down by three. Dehang has to try and find an opening here. Chain making it really difficult with all this damage. Ch Chain doing Canada proud at the minute and needs to hold on for another two and a half minutes to take down the traditional North American number two. And that puts him in the position to do so. It's looking ever more likely as time is ticking away. And Chain... Playing a series of his life so far. Oof. Great drop rail from the hang there. Needs more. It's another one. Trying to find the angle on the last one. Chain's still railable. It's going to try and grab this health bubble. That'll boost it back to 100. Put him out of rail range. But again, as we round the two minute mark left, it's a matter of playing hyper defensive for Chain here. That's a great defensive yep. rock. It's so chunky. Gets railed again. 10 HP. But can DeHang close the gap to try and get this frag? He needs to. Here comes the, the power of the Athena on the verticality now. DeHang's got to chase Chain around multiple levels of the map with no mobility to be able to do so. Coming up that jump pad is going to potentially be suicide as these defensive rockets from Chain are adequate. Not great, but you can see the speed that Chain can develop as well is also pretty impressive. So he's just playing the runaway game now. He's got no items to work with. The Hang's got both of these major items. The Chain's just once again going to play the choke points and play near levels of verticality because that's where he can get away quickest. Nice rocket to rail combo. The Hang's not that weak though, but Chain is. And we'll go down. We've still got a game on here. That might be a bit too much, though. Tahang has to start rocket jumping to clear these levels to try and keep up with Athena. He's going to catch him out of the top. It's going to be LG on LG, and he gets melted immediately. And that's going to be huge for the team Liquid player here. One minute to get two frags. Just before the major item as well, so the pressure will continue. He's also going to probably going to find Chain up here. I think he might have heard him over on the ledge. He has. He knows exactly where he is. He might have to rocket jump up. Will he wait for the Mega? Oh, instead, taking the safer route. And Chain's just wasted 15 seconds, 20 seconds. It's all about buying time now. The Hang is running around in circles. He can't find him, but he has now in the banana area. Chain grappling away. The Hang needs to hit a rail, but he hasn't. He's so weak. 
Oh no, the clutch moment and hang doesn't pull through and Chain has brought another 10 seconds. You saw kind of that global sign of I'm so frustrated there, the, the, the mouse wag from Dehang. He's going to get maybe this kill, but he's so low, he doesn't have any choice. He has and to push in and GG. Chain waiting. And that was the play there, the gauntlet of happiness, the pizza cutter coming out from Shane as he's going to celebrate with a pizza party, taking down Dehang. And oh my god, okay. Oh dear. Can well, Dehang got his at the end. <laughs> Canada pulls through. Chain takes down one of the gatekeepers of the North American scene. Some people might say it's an upset. I think on recent form, Chain fully deserves it. He's been one of the underdogs for quite a while and now he's kind of cementing himself as a true competitor at the elite echelons of the scene. Absolutely. He's done it before. He did it again, proving that he deserves to be here, putting Canada on the map for Quake Duels and Curling. Uh, but I think we're going to go to a break. Don't go anywhere. A lot more quick action to be seen.